to Disasters with Anna. I'm Anna, and today we're gonna be making a French 75 that is um, like peach infused. This is one of my new favorite drinks. It's bubbly and refreshing and light and sweet, and it's July right now, so peaches are in season, and I'm finding every way I can to use them up. <laughs> um, this was a drink that was actually um, made in episode two of my um, live YouTube videos that are on my channel. That was a double chocolate Oreo filled brownie episode. So if you want more sweet things after you watch this, go check that episode out. Um, otherwise, I guess we better get started. <laughs> All right, everyone. So first things first. We need our shaker. Now, I've got an inventive. I love using a mason jar for a shaker. Um, this originally kind of started out of necessity because I didn't have a shaker here at my grandmother's house where I'm staying right now. Um, but you know, it works pretty well and it's kind of pretty. When you shake it up, you can see everything. So why not? So first things first, we're gonna need some gin. Bombay Sapphire is my personal favorite. Um, and as I have said before, I never used to like gin. I thought I hated gin. I was not drinking good gin. <laughs> and there we have the difference. So we're gonna need one ounce of a decent gin. Your choice, this one's my favorite. So I've got a little measure here. Now the top is a one and a half ounce. So I'm gonna fill it up just three quarters of the way. Pour it into my mason jar. Step one. All right, so now for step two, I've got some homemade simple syrup. So we've got our gin and our mason jar shaker <laughs> contraption. <laughs> and we want about um, a half ounce of simple syrup. Again, now the smaller section is um, three quarters of an ounce. So I'm gonna fill this up about three quarters of the way. And then we've got it. Pour it into our gin. And there we've got step two. And we're ready for peaches. All right, so next we've got our peach. I just rinsed it, so it's all nice and clean. Um, first, what we wanna do is I would just recommend cutting the peach in half. Got our two halves here. First, we want a nice, pretty slice, like this, to add to our cocktail, it's a fin nice finishing touch. Then we are going to take the other half of the peach and you could just squeeze this by hand if you wanted to, but I already have like a nice kind of fruit squeezer here. This is normally just for like lemons or limes, but it works perfectly well. So mason jar with gin and simple syrup. So, Add this peach juice in. Here we go. Yum. <laughs> it's squirting everywhere, but it's delicious because it's fresh, yummy peach juice. Mm, 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 mm. All right, so once you squeeze that out well, we are ready for some of the final steps. All right, so we have just squeezed our fresh peach juice into the simple syrup and the gin. Now, we need one ice cube. Pop it into your mason jar. Put the lid on tight or your shaker set, whatever you've got. And shake it up. It's nice and kind of frothy and all broken up. Oh, you can see, you can see it. It looks so pretty. Well, this is kind of fun to do. 
All right, we're ready to pour this into our flute and add champagne. And then we are all done. All right, everyone. So now is the very fun part where we get to open a bottle of champagne. <laughs> now, everyone who uh, was on my live stream already saw this take place <laughs> for the very first time, I might add. I had never opened a bottle of champagne before. <laughs> um, needless to say, it made a few people quite nervous. <laughs> uh, made me nervous, that's for sure. But I successfully opened it. So here I am attempting to open my second bottle of champagne ever. And uh, we'll see how this goes. So I want to have a nice grip on the bottle of champagne and thumb on the top as we unscrew this part wire here. Okay. Pull the wire off. Still got a nice handle on it. Now, I have a very nice towel here. See, it's all crocheted by my grandmother. It's precious. Okay. I'm still getting a little nervous. <laughs> Second time, but you know, still kind of freak out a little bit. <laughs> so, I am holding it by the neck. I've got this towel over it and we're going to twist it. <laughs> Woo! And uh, turn it off <laughs> and open it. Oh, and no harm, no foul. We made it. <laughs> All right. We've got our bottle of champagne open. Mason jar flute. Pour this in. This is all shook up. And then let's see if I can successfully pour this champagne without spilling any on myself. It's going to be tilt the glass, slowly pour champagne. <laughs> oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Okay. All right. All right. Got a little bubbly here, little bubbly. Not too bad though. I've heard it's very good to tilt it, that helps. <laughs> I've got my peach slice. Boop. Pop that in, slowly, delicately, carefully. Add a tiny bit more champagne without spilling it this time. Ah, oh, and, well, and there we have it. Mm. Ah, oh, and it's so delicious and so refreshing and so pretty. Look at it in the light. <laughs> I feel so fancy drinking this. So thank you everyone for tuning in. This is a peach infused French 75. It is delicious. Um, please like this video, um, subscribe to my channel. Please comment if you make this yourself, if it turns out well, if you try any other fruits with it, I would love to hear about that. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and cheers. Santé. Mm. So yummy. Au revoir.